when the wheels roll uh, through the frog on a turnout, what happens is the, the wheel rolls along onto the wing rail that's uh, shown in blue here. And it rides along the wing rail until it catches the point of the frog, shown in green. Now you can see that at no point is the uh, the wheel support uh, uh, f able to drop into the flangeway, into the gap between the two rails, because it's firmly supported on those two rails. So it just rolls along the wing, catches onto the frog point as it's handed off onto the frog rail, and it rolls through. And because of this geometry, uh, it'll ensure that the uh, that the equipment will roll through the frog without any bumping or dropping into the f into the uh, flangeway in the frog. Now from this, you can see that it's key that the uh, the flangeway is as narrow as possible, and the tread of the wheel is as wide as possible to allow that to happen. It allows the wheel to roll down the wing rail, span across onto the frog point, and then roll onto the frog without without any bumping. A turnout built uh, close to the NMRA specifications, um, or right on, as ours are in the uh, fast track assembly fixtures, will maintain all the relationships necessary to give you a smooth running track work when you use um, wheel sets that are set to the NMRA specs. And most of the newer wheel sets available today, uh, right out of the box, are, are compliant. However, little track work is. Now, I'm also going to show you the same thing. Uh, with the RP-88 uh, or Code 88 wheel sets running on uh, a turnout built to the same specifications. Now you can build a turnout to different specifications to work well with RP-88 wheels, but uh, an out-of-the-box ready-to-run turnout or one built uh, in our fixtures might have a little bit of trouble, and I'm going to show you what's going on there. Okay, here's the same uh, the same wheel set. These are the RP25 code 88 wheels uh, on the same turnout. And I'm just going to roll them through, and you're going to see how, uh, with the narrower tread on the wheels, there's less contact at this critical location when the wheel is handed off between the wing rail and the frog point. You get in real tight. You can see that it's possible for the wheel to drop down in. Now, this turnout that's drawn here, you know, being drawn on a CAD system is 100% is precise, but uh, a ready-to-run turnout or one you build yourself, there may be slight um, inconsistencies in it, and it may cause this wheel to drop down in there. Well, this will be especially true if the frog point isn't as sharp as it should be. Shown here is a, uh, what a frog point of, of some of the ready-to-run track work sometimes looks like where it's a where it's a little bit blunt as you can see in the end um, you can also get this too when you're building your own track where if you're not careful to ensure that you got the sharpest possible frog point and where this really has an effect especially with code 88 wheels is as the wheels are rolling through here you can see that it's completely unsupported in this area right here it'll bump it'll drop down into the frog and then click onto the edge and that little bit of bumping action can be the source of some trouble. And one way that the uh, some of the ready-to-run track work gets around this is they actually will will fill in the frog. The frog uh, flangeways will actually be filled in with plastic when they cast the turnout. And this serves a couple of purposes. One, it uh, it aids in construction of the turnout. Um, it holds everything in place. And two, it'll solve some of the wheel drop problem and then as the wheels roll through the turnout it'll actually roll across this fill that's in the bottom of the frog. Uh, one of the problems with this is if the wheels, uh, if the flange weight diameter on the wheel, not the flange weight, the flange diameter on the wheel is a little bigger, a little smaller than it's supposed to be and that can vary from one manufacturer to another and what'll happen is as the wheels roll through the turnout you'll get a bit of a bump as it rolls along and hits on here. If the flange, is, uh, the flange diameter is a little bit too big, it'll actually lift up as it comes through the frog. And if it's too small, it'll still drop into the frog. So it's not the best workaround possible. Um, but it is used by a lot of manufacturers, and it's, it's used for that reason. The best way to use the, uh, 
the Code 88 wheels is to actually build a turnout for that wheel with a narrower flangeway through here. Um, and I'll get into more detail on, on how to do that and the repercussions of doing that uh, a little later on. So as you can see that there's a, a definite relationship between the wheels and the track work it's running on. Um, it doesn't matter how well you build your track work, it's only going to run as good as the worst set of wheels on your layout. So you want to make sure that you have all those wheel sets set to your NMRA gauge. And it's pretty straightforward to do, just make sure it fits in the little grooves in the NMRA gauge and you'll have good running track work.